Could this be a normal day in preschool? Every hour, an average of 60 conflicts occur in a preschool room, one per minute. No wonder research shows that attendance in preschool centers can hinder the rate at which children develop social skills and increase behavior problems for years to come. Data does show that a child's cognitive function can improve. But in the real world, how helpful is intelligence if you can't get along with others? The way we organize preschool today is a very new idea. For a millennium, children were cared for in multi-age groups. Infants, two-year-olds, four- and nine-year-olds would all be cared for together. This guaranteed that children would have different needs and also different skill sets to help within the group. Preschools typically put the same age children together in the same room. This presents a problem because the third and fourth years of life are some of our most aggressive years. Hitting, pushing, shoving, and screaming are the problem-solving tools available to them. For many kids, it's just too much and the last choice is to simply give up. Aggressive acts, suspensions, and expulsions in preschool are much higher than in grades kindergarten through 12th. Expulsion rates in these grades are two students per a thousand, while children in preschool are expelled at a rate that is 1,300% higher. Under normal circumstances, a preschooler's brain is ready to learn empathy, compassion, patience, emotional self-control, how to ask for a turn, and how to solve conflicts peacefully. How could any child learn or any educator teach when a conflict happens every single minute? The current demands on both adults and children are too great. This dilemma must be addressed. The good news is that we have a proven solution so that preschool will benefit children in both cognitive and social ways. Every child must learn how to stand up to aggression and teach the other children how they want to be treated. What's the problem? Alex squeezed me too hard. Oh, he squeezed you too hard. Do you have something that you could say to him so that he could do it different next time? What would you say? Please, next time, do it softer. Can we practice? Okay, show me. Do a soft hug. That's better. That's better. You did it. You touched Stephanie and you waited for her to look. You asked her for what you wanted. You got it. Ready? Stop. I don't like it. I want my cupcake back. Yeah? Give it back. All right, try it one more time with me. Let me hear. And then you say, please give it back. And you know what? I bet you would if you used your good voice. Conscious discipline provides teachers and parents with these skills. This allows them to empower all children to be successful and personally resilient members of society. We can shift this problem and we can do it today. Let's start the conversation.